Okay, viewers and listeners of Tech Press Zone, it is 3.45 now and exactly two hours since we started running this generator. So I'll pause this video while I switch off the dead. Okay, I'll just take this to generator and speed it up. So as you can see, that's one of the easiest way to switch off the generator when it is running on LPG. So don't forget to return this and don't forget to take back the ignition. So for two hours, this generator was running on this converter kit, which is the LPG CNG carburetor kit and uh, as you can see I had to move away the cylinder from the genset because cylinders are always under pressure and you don't want to move them close to a source of heat like the one in this case from a generator then there's something I want to also let you know the dry weight of this cylinder as you can see is 12.9 kg now I ran this for two hours and if you check on the ground you can see that um, it had a lot of um, moisture which was condensed on the body of the cylinder so in the last video I released one of the viewers asked me if it was normal for his cylinder to be sweating like this one is doing while using it to run the generator and I told him yes it is normal and there is no cause for alarm so long he is very sure that there is no leakage and that all the um, gas leaving the cylinder are going through the airtight regulator to the gen. If you have any leakage or you are experiencing any leakage, you will not be able to have the best efficiency in terms of running your generator with this LPG, popularly referred to as cooking gas. So now, like I told you earlier, uh, this regulator is a very good one. So when you are doing this type of uh, um, fuel uh, source for your generator, make sure you use a very good regulator, which should not have any leakage at all so it was very tight to the tightly fitted to the hose and also on the conversion kit so this particular test was carried out and um, i can assure you that there wasn't any leakage so like i said in the methodology when i started this video we are going to take this cylinder now back to the gas station and weigh it again so whatever we get is going to be the different uh, we are going to take it out from the initial weight of this uh, cylinder then whatever we get is going to be the amount of kg of lpg required to run this generator for two hours under about the three the three percent loading now i made a, an omission mistake when i was doing uh, this um, video I forgot that I had my laptop's uh, uh, power plugged to the wall and that takes about uh, I think 60 to about 80 so we can tell that the average load used in this test was about 900 watts as against the 820 I said earlier so let me quickly do that calculation and update you as to the percentage loading that uh, amounts to on this generator okay the conversion has been done and as you can see it's about uh, 36 percent loading so roughly about 40 percent loading we use this cylinder to run this generator so i'm going to take this to the gas station now to wait and i'll get back to you in another video so if this has helped please like subscribe share and hit the bell icon for notification on our future video. The next video is going to be on calculation of
the amount of cooking gas in kg that was used in running the generator for two hours and i guess that is going to be our moment of truth so see you in the next video by god's grace